<clears throat> hey guys, and we are doing Black Temple. So, how you get here? You're going to get to Shadowman Valley, which is an outland, so you can either come via the portal from Blasted Lands, or you can come to, that's not where I want to go, you can come to Shatrath, which is in Terracar Forest, and then just fly due east. Where am I? Here we go. And you're going to head up the little path towards Black Temple. And the entrance isn't actually dead ahead. The entrance is right here. And so you come up the stairs, and it's the third inset on the right. And then you can just run in. I have tea. Also, live stream last night was so much fun. All right, so here's my husband. Playing his monk. Let's buff up and we can start. So, I have only run Black Temple twice and I haven't done it yet in Mist, so I don't know the fights as well. I have a feeling we're going to be skipping most of the trash. I'm getting reps. So yeah, the rep for Black Temple is is Ash Tongue Death Sworn. Is over here. Now, if you want the rep, you can kill all the trash. Um, I don't know up until what level the trash gives you rep. I think, I think because it's a very good rep, at least until Revered. Now, this boss, I remember, has one mechanic where he will pin somebody to the ground. Is that correct? I don't know, I've only ever done this solo. Oh, okay. But so if you don't kill him fast enough, he will pin someone to the ground and you have to click on the little sword that's spearing you. Um, but again, as you can see, he's already dead. So not a really big problem. And what do we get? is with Ashton Death Sworn. I'm gonna check really quickly here. Honored. Okay, so yeah, even into Honored, the little guys are giving you reps, so that's good. It's not like Molten Core. That got annoying really quickly. I am going the wrong way. Apparently I ran this a lot because I'm almost exalted with Ashton Death Sworn on this guy. Nice. Killing all the critters for the uh, achievement. I'm coming, I'm coming. Okay, so wait, we just fought this guy. So our next fight is Supremus. 
and there are three token, three tier pieces, uh, tier six pieces that have a chance to drop, but they don't drop till towards the end of the raid. I looked ahead while I was flying here. This one is very a quick, easy burn as well. I don't know if you guys can hear my husband, so I'm just gonna reiterate what he says anyway. Money's always good. Uh, greed and greed. Alright, where do we go? Just behind him? Okay. Okay, and the next guy is the Shade of a Comma. Oh, I think I remember that fight. This guy? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I don't know what he said. He's moving.
that's it for this one. Correct? Yes. Okay. And next is Gertog Blood Boil. That's a fantastic name. Also, I'm thinking about possibly live streaming um, either Hearthstone or possibly Rogue Legacy or some type of game. So if you would be interested in watching that, put some comments in. Possibly a Diablo speedrun that could be fun to watch. So the good news is, if you're doing this at a higher level, you can bypass a lot of this trash. Yeah, we're gonna be fighting Gorfin next. Oh, we're fighting a different boss next. Gorfiend, okay. Are we skipping the other two? No, we're just Okay. Alright, so, my bad, we're not fighting. Do you have those plans? Yeah. Oh, you do? Okay. And, oh, come on now, look at that. So that was Gorefiend. So who are we fighting next? Okay, so I don't know how quietly I was talking, but um, the, I think the just these three, right? These three, it doesn't matter, the order. Basically, the most of the bosses you fight when you're in the actual temple, you can fight in different orders. Okay, so the bosses inside the temple, it doesn't matter what order you're fighting them in. Um, I don't know if any of them are skippable, but. You're honored now, that's exciting. Oh, I pulled something. Sorry. Okay, so we just fought Terran Gorefiend and now we are going to a different part. So you can see one shoots off here, there's one over here. 
and just kind of go all over. And I believe in the center there are vendors, is that correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I'm going to run past... You have to fight Shade of a Comma before you can access them. Up. Okay, so once you fight Shade of a Comma, the, which is the boss that was down in here, um, you go up here, and all of these guys are here from the Ashton Death Swarm. And oh, I went to the wrong. I went the wrong way. Oopsie. Okay, let's keep going. I'm gonna switch my bus. Is this will make me move faster. All right. Here we go. Okay. So you have a reagent vendor and a quartermaster. And this is for Ashton Deathsworn. So <coughs> various reagents. So I can sell stuff if I need to or whatever. Um, and then the quartermaster you can repair and he sells patterns. So I've got ooh, a bunch of tailoring patterns that I didn't have before. So I can buy a whole bunch of these. Um, I see leather working and I see blacksmithing. And then there's a trinket for when you hit exalted that was probably pretty good back in the day but now is probably not so good. And yeah, so for different tiers of reputation that you unlock you can get better patterns. The spirit guy is also a shortcut for the raid. If you need to get farther in the raid quickly, oh, okay. you can warp. So the spirit guy you can talk to and warp if you need to get farther in the raid quickly. So I'm guessing if you died, you could run back and you wouldn't have to run through the entire raid? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Oh, also, my parents found my videos and watched a bunch of them last night, so I got some emails from them that were that were very, very sweet. But, uh, watch what I say now. Well, they probably won't watch the gaming ones, so I'm free to say whatever I want about them most likely on these ones, but I should probably watch my mouth on the other ones. If you're doing this by yourself, or if you've got a group that's trying to grind their reputation, you can absolutely kill all the trash. It'll take you a bit longer. Um, excuse me. But, um, if you want the rep, it'll be well worth it. The only thing I'd say about Blood Boil is, um, if you don't DPS fast, fast enough, he could actually kill you. Okay, this so way. this guy you really do need to burn as quickly as possible if you don't, I'm assuming he has a buff or something that stacks. Okay, so. If you're soloing something to watch out for, but cheaply, you're probably fine. Oh, I've got blood oil on me. Oh, okay. I get 600 physical damage every one second. Okay. Okay, and it stacks, and I've got 12, yeah, 1200, okay. Especially if you're soloing, because then all the other buffs hit one person, mm -hmm. and it adds up very quickly. No kidding. Okay, well, that went pretty well. So, yes, Blood Boil drops your... Does he not? Am I on the wrong guy? Okay, never mind. We're on Blood Boil, but I don't see this anywhere. Oh well, doesn't matter. Um, yeah, so the next, the Reliquary of Souls, yeah, none of these guys drop any tier pieces yet. Reliquary used to be almost impossible to beat by yourself, but they nerfed it in one of the patches. Okay. So it's not as impossible now. Good to know. Oh, you've got me anyway, you're fine. <laughs> yeah. Okay, is there anything we need to know for Reliquary, husband? Interrupts are very important. Interrupts are very important, okay. They used to get you killed if you didn't do them properly. Oh, okay. Now you have a little bit more leeway. Alright, 
So you will just uh, somewhat spell it out so I can do there's it properly. three heads. Right, okay, so there's three that's heads. That's the second one that does the scary. Uh, they basically just like, stun you in death mode, unless you interrupt it. Okay, so I need there's to... Used to be a So, the first and third heads are a joke, and then the second one is scary. Set to be a little careful. Okay, so the first, I don't know if you guys caught that, the first head is fine, the third head is fine, the second head does a, what does he do? It's like a disorient. A disorient? Okay. So you have to just kind of have your finger on the stone, so this guy coming up. Do we kill these guys, the enslaved souls? Yeah, they'll actually come out. Okay. It's supposed to be like a break. Oh, okay. Or like something like that. use divine prayer. Or desperate prayer, rather. Once that's the move that disorients you. Okay. And you're able to interrupt it? Yeah. I had my finger on silence just in case. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't have been able to get the next one, but it died already. So. Okay. Alright, and then the last guy. Okay, so yeah, it is the these three. Is linear. Okay, so yes. These three, so this the last three that we fought, so the Re Reliquary of Souls, Gertog, Blood Boil, and Terran Gore Fiend. Um, it doesn't matter, you just you need to fight all of them in whatever order you like in order to unlock the rest of the raid, which is linear like the first part, so. <clears throat> That's a cute ghost kitty. Oh, I ghost kitty. So now, the next one we fight is Mother Sharaz. And she drops, she has a chance to drop your seer tick, seer ticks, your tier six. Over here. <laughs> okay, sorry. Your tier six uh, shoulder piece token. Which is pauldrons of the forgotten conqueror protector of Anguisher. So I am hoping for conqueror. That is pretty cool. Yeah. <clears throat> I was talking about the bugs in Black Temple. I was going to be doing higher class here, so it's a little different from what I remember. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know if you guys caught that. My husband has a warlock, and he did the very hard green fire quest, um, which you find a book on the Timeless Isle, I think? Or was it Isle of Thunder? Uh, it's not Timeless Isle. It's Isle of Thunder. Isle of Thunder. Of a rare boss. Okay, so there's a rare boss. You get a book off of one of the bosses on the Isle of, one of the rare bosses on the Isle of Thunder. 
and it starts a quest chain, which you end up in Black Temple, uh, a harder version, a level, a level 90 version, and you have to do, you have to fight this one boss, and it's really hard. I watched him do it a lot, and he, he got it finally, and it was very exciting, and he unlocks uh, all of his warlock spells that use what is normally purple fire. It's now have green fire, or red fire, sorry. It's, it's now green fire, so he was very, very excited to do that, because his favorite color is green. The boss had 35 million HP, I think. That's a lot of people. There was a really useful uh, YouTube video that a guy made of it that helped me a lot yeah. to get there. Harem right now, I think. <laughs> this is why you kept running Black Temple. about two-thirds of the way through Honored right now, so yeah, one run is a very, if you kill a lot of trash, it's a very good way to do all, to get all of this. Yeah, it's pretty fast. It's pretty good. Okay, anything special about this boss? No, just burn it. Just burn it. Okay. Works for me. Monks didn't exist back then. Exactly. <laughs> All right. Well, I didn't get my shoulders, but that's okay. The next, the next two bosses have something for me, so maybe I'll get one of my tier pieces. Yeah, I get that nice. cloth helmet though. It's really cool. Okay. And then the next is the Illidari Council, which drops your tier six leg token. Illidari Council can be hard if you're so long. because they do a lot of damage. It's probably the hardest fight if you're soloing. If you're soloing, okay. Yeah. Well, let's hope it's not or too Or Illidan's the toughest if you don't know what you're doing. Yeah. Okay. Because the flames of Azanoth can kill you pretty fast if you don't know how to, if you don't kill them off right away. Mm hmm Okay. Speak up a bit. A little Sorry. bit. Can you speak up a little bit? That way I don't have to repeat it. <laughs> These guys have a shared health pool. Uh, one of them's a healer. Um, I'm not sure how 
people usually do this with more than one person, but I have to do laps around the area here usually to kite them so they don't kill me as fast. Okay, but which one's the healer? Uh, the girl on the right. Okay, so <coughs> let's mark her to kill first. Well, they'll, they'll probably all die at the same time. Oh, right, right. Sure. it's shared hearth pool. Derp, okay. But with us together, we might not, not have to kite them, so I'll just... All right, well, I will target you, and I'll just mine sear them. I'll just take them. If I get low, you might have to kill That's fine. Warrior Hunter Shaman. Well, to be fair, you don't really need legs for Transmog as a priest. That's true, but still. Yeah. Still not dropping. That's not what I meant to do. You have you have movement bonuses. <laughs> you don't need it. Oh, where's a comma? Talk to him first. Oh, okay. Alright, and to, to walk up here. Next is Illidan. He drops your chest, your tier six chest token. All right, so we have to talk to a comma, and then we just follow it. Him. He talks forever before he opens the door. Oh, another one of those. Okay. Are we prepared? Uh, yeah, I think so. Okay. Once a comma finally gets up here, it'll be slow and old. Really? You didn't get my joke? You wary, friends. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, waiting for a comma to climb the stairs. Then you talk to him. Whose skull is he holding? I think it's the skull of Goldan. Oh, okay. That's a drop. Your duplicity is heartless. It's a cool drop, actually. It gives you like a green shell form. Oh, yeah. Tap into the power of the skull. Very it's cool. Really cool looking. Alright. So you want the, uh, the Shard of Azanoth? Well, I, I don't see the Warglaive on here. Well, it should be. It's, not on, it's not on my Atlas loot. Really? It's in mine. Five, four, three, two, one. Interesting. Okay. Two. Two. <coughs> <coughs> I'm not prepared. It's too soon. Okay, so it's percentage based. Okay. The uh, war graves are going to drop and two elementals are going to come out and you have to die as fast as possible. Do you want me to fight the other one? Yeah. 
Well, then why did you tell me to come over here if you want me to fight the other one? Phase 2 is percentage based, it's not time based. He will drop the... <coughs> he will drop the Wargoes will fly out and Elementals will come and they need to die as quickly as possible because they do a lot of damage. And that is it. Oh! It's someone named Maeve? Shadow song. Maeve. Okay, and then phase four is the comes out. Him? Her? Her. Oh, it is finished. He is beaten. Tear pieces for me. What do you look like? Oh, you look pretty sweet. I might keep you for trams long. Mind if I take take the stuff? Okay. I think I have that stuff already. All right, and that's Black Temple, guys. you found that helpful. Thank you, husband, for your help. <laughs> and I uh, will see you guys tomorrow. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you feel so inclined. Have a beautiful day.